What's going on guys? Mega Gig back with another video, back with our Dark Elves Let's Play with Total War Warhammer 2 on the Mortal Empires campaign, continuing where we left off. And uh, we are just barely not replenished here with Malekith's army. We've got uh, we've got the Bloody Axes up here, the Bloody Axe tribe. Um, but they aren't really, they're not going to do anything. In fact, I think, yeah, we took in a non-aggression pack with them. So hopefully they'll move out of our lands uh, in the near future. Let's check this. It looks like we've got possible some trade. Um, no, nobody really wants trade. And we're deteriorating with them as well, which is kind of unfortunate. These guys probably won't take a non-aggression pact. That's okay. I wouldn't mind actually conquering these guys. Uh, and these guys too. It's interesting, the ones that I can trade with, I'm deteriorating. The ones that I can't, I'm improving. That's kind of unfortunate there. Uh, let's, where, where was it? These guys. Um, let's see if we can't get... Uh, we've got non-aggression pack. See if we can't pay them for a little bit of trade. I'll pay a little bit. I don't want to pay too much. Uh, they're not going to take any trade at all. And we can't trade with anyone else. Uh, we are improving with Hagrafe, but... Speak before I change my they only have the one the one settlement, and we're actually going to take that. What do they... How much do they pay, though? How much do they pay? Uh, 221. Or how much would they give us in trade, I should say. Uh... These guys are pretty much full. We could go ahead and uh, teleport to our quest battle, win the following battle, uh, the army, the Circle of Iron, and it'll or it'll give me the Circle of Iron rather, which gives me magic magic op item drop chance of uh, five percent, winds of magic, armor untainted, and a passive passive ability of the Circlet of Iron, which is plus fifty percent to miscast chance. Um, so I guess it's not really the, the greatest weapon. I mean, the Untainted and the Armor is okay, and Winds of Magic is alright too. So let's go ahead and move out, and we will start this episode off with a bang, because last episode we didn't have any battles uh, with our Dark Elves. So let's teleport here, and uh, let's take a look at the terrain if we can. Looks like we're fighting three different Chaos armies. Uh, we're going to start with this one, and then there will be reinforcements coming in. So let's see what we can do. We've got our bolt thrower. We've got our chariots. We should be okay. Um, of course, they've got some actual decent units here. They're not just not just garbage units. Start the battle. We'll watch this. These chaos stretches bore me. At least with the Asa, I can enjoy their death spree. Yeah, they better stay out of our way. So I did fix the volume, by the way, guys. Um, my volume I had changed. We're actually just going to move all these guys up. Uh, there we go. Are they moving forward? They're not moving. Um, we'll just have them attack there. But yeah, I did uh, accidentally have the volume too high in the previous episode uh, when I was playing as Chaos, and uh, so I did, I did turn the volume down. It should be, should be normal. I'll go ahead and check really quick just to make sure. Yeah, it is down. And let's see. We'll move our chariots up to whoops wrong one there we go and now these guys are starting to run from us let's bring our chariots up and kind of harass them maybe we can get them to turn around 
and we've got our two abilities too we've got chill wind and we've got a vortex which is really nice but we don't have a mount yet malekith is just on his own he will be getting a black dragon eventually let's see if we can't harass these guys and we've also got a fire sorceress who has some neat abilities a little too far away to cast burning head is too she can cast a fireball here but we're up over a hill so she would miss yeah that doesn't reach either what is this web of shadows oh whoops apparently that's just an effect around oops and now our we should be firing on them let's move the rest of our army up a little bit and we could crash into these guys why not let's run into them before they come to us we'll actually get a good charge here we are chariots. Yeah, just drive right through them. And now let's get out. And we'll have them come way over here like this. And now we can use our... Let's see here. See how that looks, maybe. There we go. All right. We'll do that. We've also got a flame storm here that we can use. And there we go. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Let's change these guys around a little bit just in case those guys try and We'll go ahead and send Malekith in. And we don't have any horses or uh, cavalry, unfortunately. But our chariots are doing a fine job. And yeah, they're they're not gonna survive very well against our spears there. Let's see about let's see about this. Get a good shot. Yeah, right through the middle of them. And we do have a fireball. Let's get up here. Let's see if oh well we can't. It's gonna cost five. That's right. So we'll just move up there. Send our chariot in. And Malekith, no reason to, to chase. You're not going to catch him. He's on a horse. Nice charge. Nice charge. Let's have those guys just kind of fire, however. And these guys are probably going to waver and die. <laughs> we can almost fire a fireball. Let's reline these guys up. And they do have some reinforcements coming in. So let's take these guys and turn them. And we'll turn these guys. Move Malekith back a little bit. Move our mage back a little bit. Let's send our chariots. Let's get these guys. Turn them. Turn them to fire on those guys, and they are just kind of... Have we lost a chariot? Oh, they're all there. They're all there. And we could probably turn our whole line now if we wanted.
fire on the chaos spawn. And we've got a nice line coming up here. We can fire backwards like this. Let's go ahead and get Malekith in there. Bring these guys around. And we're out of Winds of Magic. Let's, let's reline up all these guys. Just have them fire there. Malekith doing good. Malekith doing good. I don't really want to use this ability. It does increase your power reserves and recharge rate, but it causes a pretty significant amount of damage to yourself. Let's have them charge in there. Chariots do a pretty significant amount of charge damage, even if they're ranged. They've still got the little, uh, the little shards or whatever blades on the side that can mow them down pretty nice. So. We're still going to use them as a melee unit. And they're actually out of ammo anyways, so... Let's crash into the back here with our chariots. Bring these spears around. Let's make sure these guys stay gone. And, all right, we had our murderous prowess. Let's see if Malekith, it costs five. We're almost there. There we go. Now we're there. Uh, in case you guys are wondering, if you just click this as if you were going to attack and hold it, then you can rotate where, however you want it to cast. And then if you right click, you can uh, cancel it. So it really helps you line it up nicely, and that's going to do a ton of damage to them. And why are our ranged units up here? What are you guys doing? Unfortunately, our mage doesn't really have a whole lot she can do once you're out of Winds of Magic. And it looks like Malekith is getting it on with this guy. One on one. Now let's zoom in and take a look at this. Oh, he kind of kind of kicked him and ran away. Come on, Malekith. Chase him down. And as soon as it declares victory, there we go. So pretty good battle. Pretty easy um, quest battle. I'm not really sure if they've added any more quest battles to this. I know in the Total War Warhammer 1 a lot of the lords had three or four quest battles. Um, I'm not really sure if you have more quest battles in Mortal Empires or not or if it's just the one to get your your special weapon or whatever it is. So we'll see as that goes along. Um, uh, I feel like I want to do the replenishment get some more slaves for our economy too. And we got our circlet of iron and bonus experience, 1500 for Malekith. Nice, very nice, very nice. Spell number of uses plus two for power of darkness. But um, that would almost kill us, wouldn't it? <laughs> Let's take a look. What is the, the power of darkness skill? Where is that? I'm pretty sure that's the one that, um, pretty sure that's the one that causes the damage to us. I don't, I don't see it in here anywhere. Why would I want to use it five times? Minus cooldown to it. But yeah, if it causes damage to us, why would I, why would I want to use that? That's kind of, kind of crazy. Uh, I could go ahead and get a cold one. That improves everything, uh, but it just gives us uh, minus a little bit of leadership. Gives us quite a bit more armor and speed. Quite a bit more speed. And uh, that way we're on a mountain. We can't be bullied around by uh, bigger bigger targets. So yeah, I'm going to go with cold one mount. And there you can see him now. It's kind of like a raptor type deal. 
just his size. Perfect. All right, so let's take a look uh, at our details. And nothing else we can really give. Yeah, we don't have any other items, unfortunately. But we can move back in here to replenish up. And actually, let's 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 combine these up. There we go. We got two slots. Um, these don't have shields, so let's go ahead and get rid of them. I know I realize their experience is up, but I want to get kind of a better army going here. So let's get uh, two witch elves. Let's get two of these black art corsairs because they're really good at uh, their anti-infantry. And then uh, how many spears we got? We got five. Let's get six spears. And then one more range. That'll give us... Let's get rid of these bleak swords. I'm not really a big fan of them. And then, let me see, that's one, two, three. That's four. And then we'll get a thing of harpies for now. And that should give us kind of a well-rounded army there. It's going to be a few turns worth of uh, recruitment. But uh, we need to sit here and get our public order uh, anyways. Public order is plus eight, which is exactly what we got. But we've got our right going for three more turns. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to end the turn. We're probably going to have to hang out here for a couple of turns to get this army recruited. But we've finished off everything kind of in here. So next, we can either go back to war with these guys and uh, take them out and take that over and then maybe occupy these, and there's probably some Skaven up in there. Or we can go after these guys next. Uh, but we do have a few turns to figure that out and see what we want to do. See how our um, relations deteriorate, and we'll kind of go from there. <clears throat> and all right, we got a technology done. Slave supply income from ports. Casualties captured after battle plus 15%. Inkeep, uh, upkeep for Black Art Corsair units. Unit experience, armor piercing, and melee attack for harpies. We do have some harpy, harpies now, but we've got a decent amount of Black Art Corsairs. Let's go with this first. We'll get some harpies, and then we'll look up here at some uh, other things. Public order pro plus three. Nice. Um, yeah, these are the... Oh, no, these are actually uh, Dark Shards. Which ones are the Black Art Corsairs? That's these guys. And we don't have any of these guys. And they can fire while moving, and they have decent armor. Uh, they've got pretty good armor, but um, their missile damage is... It's really it's the same, but it's not armor-piercing, and their range is almost half of the Dark Shards. So we don't actually... Which one? It gives income from sacking settlements, too. Let's give us a bonus to our... Well, let's see what we got here. Recruitment costs, unit experience, speed, leadership. These would actually all be really nice for our lower tier units right now, so let's go with that. Our harpies don't really need extra bonuses right now. Uh, what do we got? We got the burning head, which we didn't get to use. We got flaming bolts and we need to get this so we can improve our recharge rate and then uh, winds of magic and we got winds of magic up here okay, so we need to get that winds of magic up and he can get the same thing at the very end of his and what is this gaze of that's that's going the melee route and it's a breath attack. Causes moderate magical damage. Disrupts unit formation. Short, wide, expanding, tear-shaped attack. Strong versus multiple units. Weak versus armor. Uh, seems like a pretty nice ability, though. Um, yeah, and we do get to go to rank 40. So we'll probably continue over here to get Elven Healing. And then uh, we're, if we continue down here to get more of these abilities then eventually we'll probably get rid of our mage because we don't want to have two casters and just completely eat up our winds of magic. Um, or we could just stick with this one ability and go full on melee or full on um, lord power and, uh, and then get this skill. Uh, we'll kind of see.
we'll, we'll kind of see where we're going. We don't have to go anywhere just yet. Uh, we are improving here. There's nothing to do, nothing to do in the turn. This is also going to help us um, save up a little bit of money for a couple of turns, too, while we're recruiting before we decide to expand and decide which way we're going to go. I wouldn't mind going after these guys, to be honest. The Great Arena is going to be pretty easy to take, as long as they don't have an army there. Ambush discovered. Yeah, they're still hanging out on our lands. They're not raiding, though. And, yeah, there's definitely Skaven in here. And are we at war with them? We are at war with them. And I really don't want them moving out there. Um, what's my what's my garrison like here? It's pretty, pretty dwindled. Can I recruit a lord? I can recruit a lord. Sword and shield, sword and crossbow. Two to seven, three to eight, five to ten. Two to seven, three to eight, five to ten. We got confident, spiteful. Ooh, spiteful's really nice. Uh, vicious, vicious is also very nice. Tough is also very nice. Uh, hmm. Let's go with the melee expert here. Let's go ahead and recruit another army. That's going to hurt our income, yeah, by quite a lot. Uh, but let's put her in there because I don't want to lose this, and I don't have time to move Malakith around. So this is pretty much. Um, I've pretty much decided to come this way now. We want to get rid of these these clans that are in here. I don't want them constantly raiding our lands. And we can recruit here as well. But it's going to be a couple of turns. How far can they get to me next turn, I wonder? They are raiding. But I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. Well, if we have to go back up there, we can. We've got a settlement upgrade right here. Let's do it. And we'll in turn, we'll see what happens. Our income has taken a huge hit from hiring that, that general. Once we, once we can get rid of that general, we will get our income back up. And then maybe we can hire another general again once we get once we take all this stuff over. We're gonna come over here so we can build some stuff for oh and Hagrief was actually destroyed. And look at that. They they went back. So we'll go ahead and come up here, take that stuff. Let's check our diplomatic status with these guys. Your flesh will roast. Unfriendly, and we are deteriorating, and they own quite a bit down there. Um and we're Fear. We're, we're deteriorating with these guys, unfortunately. I wish they'd take a non-aggression pact. That'd be really nice. Let's see, can I pay them? Can I, can I offer you guys a little money? Oh, I can! Alright. So, I should be secured up here for now. Uh, and we're improving, so we might be able to get trade with them in a couple of turns. We're neutral with them. And we are deteriorating with them. So we can go to war with these guys. Uh, I would actually, before we go to war, like to come up here and go ahead and take this out. So let's go ahead and get rid of these. And let's get rid of her. Get our income back up. I feel like that didn't give us the income back that we had. <laughs> uh, and let's, let's build some walls here, though. We can do that. And what do we got here? Um, we can either build another military building or we can go with more uh, economy in some roads. Campaign movement range for our own armies in this region, starting on their turn in this region. Plus growth, income from trade, and income from slaves. Uh, let's do that because we're not going to be recruiting anything in the near future. And let's go ahead and get that, and that, and I guess we can go ahead and upgrade these things if we like. We've got the money. We're still recruiting, but 
Tell you what, let's move up. Uh, this is still our territory, correct? Yeah. Yeah, this is still our... Oh, no, going the wrong way. I didn't want to trespass. I just didn't want to go to war right then. And if I trespass, we'll probably have to go to war. Which I probably just did, actually, trespass. Yeah, trespass is against... <laughs> Oops. Uh, but I wanted to go this way so I could continue to recruit while I was on my way. But I think it was kind of... Kind of didn't work very well. <laughs> We get any heroes? Oh, we can get a death hag. Ooh. And we got a tough one, too. Armor, melee, defense. Yes. Let's do it. And, all right. So now we're going to have to get rid of something so we have a spot to put the death hag in. Do we really need six spearmen? We've got four, essentially four melee specialists here. Uh, these guys have no armor, but they are more dangerous than the Black Art Corsairs. Um... Because they have the Madness of Cain, which else Venom makes its target susceptible to the Madness of Cain, forcing it into Madness, Rampage, and Bloodlust. And then Murderous Mastery, uh, Merciless Frenzied Agents of Slaughter. Even when unprovoked, this unit takes especially well to Cain's Murderous Blessing. So, um, so yeah, the, the Murderous Prowess gives us uh, these bonuses here. 15 Leadership, 25 Melee Attack, and Charge. Etc. Etc. When it's red like this, it's even more um, than everyone else. 25% melee attack compared to no, that's 25%. But they do get more bonus, don't they? 25, 30. I wish it would be in the same order so you could tell. 30% to vigor. It looks like they only get a better leadership bonus. No, it's the same leadership too. Can cause fear. So I guess it just causes fear is the only difference. Hmm. But they do get uh, Madness of Cain, which uh, gets rid of 10% of the enemy's melee defense and 24% of their speed. Um, but they do have the Rampage. Uh, however, these guys have uh, a little more attack and defense. They've got a little less weapon strength and charge, leadership and speed, but they've got a lot more armor and HP. So they're both kind of melee specialists there. I want to keep four ranged units for now. Um, so I think we'll get rid of. I kind of want the harpies too, for to run down some uh, to, uh, to run down some ranged units and keep them busy. So let's get rid of some spears because we've also got the black guard of Nagaron. So that's basically still six defensive units, and then we'll put our uh, our our death hag in there, and we've got a right available. And this right could be formed was the slave pen building. And what is the slave pens? I feel like is this, yeah, this is slave pens. I don't really want that right now, but I would like to get a dark arc so I can get the uh, abilities from it. So let's go with this so we can get the dark arc sooner. And then uh, when we upgrade this, we'll go with the, the roads. And um, how many turns is that going to take to build? Three. And this is for five turns. So we'll go ahead and do this. Our sorceress can upgrade faster. And then we'll be stronger by then. Or something. So, yeah, let's go ahead and end the turn. <clears throat> and hopefully these guys wait to go to war with us until we take care of this clan. These rat clans over here. That would be uh, Clan Pestilence, I guess. That would be ideal. So we'll see. We'll see how it works out. <clears throat> and something that's kind of unfortunate uh, on the quest battle uh, that I forgot to mention is I believe it's the same quest battle as on the Vortex campaign. It looks pretty much the same from what I've seen, so just take that for what you will. Alright, let's go in here, and then we'll... I guess force marching isn't going to get us anywhere because of that. Will it? No, we can't go... We, well, we can go that way more. 
Yeah, our lands in right here. So we've still got a couple of turns before we can get to there. Um, we've still got plus one here. Corruption. Chaos corruption is going up. Probably because of these guys. Uh, which kind of sucks. I wish they would get out of my lands already. Uh, Skaven corruption is going down, though. So we've got public order, and we are fighting corruption with an altar of Cain. Um, once we get to level 4 with this, we'll be able to get a Hydra. And that is uh, OP. Uh, they're not really OP, but they are really, really good. Especially if you get that fire attack right. Um, they do fire a little weird on some troops. Uh, you kind of need to line it up right, but if you can fire through a, uh, a straight line of units, man, it'll just tear them up. Hydras are awesome. Hydras are so good. So I would like to get a Hydra in the near future. But we have to upgrade to level 4 first, and I think that's still going to be a little ways away. Came out of Stance March. Alright, technology. Hooray! We already did six turns. Uh, unit experience. Uh, speed or leadership. Uh, let's go with leadership so they don't route quite as soon. And, oh, we got an assassin. Look at that. Hero recruited assassin. Nice. We can... Uh, Scout the ruins. Yeah, let's see what's here. <laughs> Clan revealed. And they've got quite a few units there, actually. Um, yeah, it, we can go ahead and go... Well, wait. Oh, we can't actually get this till rank 4. Um, hmm... Income from slaves. I'm not entirely sure if I want to make him a good assassin or put him in our army. That would give us three. Hey, well, let's keep him out for now. Let's have him uh, be able to assault some units. And that might help us a little bit. And we've got a full army. Let's get closer. And uh, let's go ahead and end the turn. Got a province surplus. All right. And but now our uh, right wore off, and now we're deteriorating on public order over here. So we're gonna have to address that. We are coming to a close on this episode, but we're going to end it on uh, this battle here, and then we can uh, we can fight it when we come in next time. I want to go ahead and uh, get the rest of this turn. All right, right unlocked, which is our Black Art Corsair. Um, public order, most of it is from uh, corruption. Uh, we can go ahead. Ooh, what is this? Lord of Recruitment Rank, Tax Rate, Hero Recruitment, Winds of Power Reserve. Oh, man, that's pretty good, actually. Uh, uh. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. We've barely got the money for all that stuff. We kind of saved up a lot of money, but then we started using it all, too. Let's see. Let's go with Power Reserves. And we've got that ability, so let's see. Let's see if we can assault these units here. And we did, too. Very nice. We'll go ahead and let's... Uh, hero access success chance all around, and then minus action cost. Yeah, let's go with that. Now let's go ahead and attack. And, oh, this is going to be an easy one. Um, yeah, if you guys are watching this one, let me know. Uh, we'll start the battle off at the beginning next time. If you guys want me to fight this, I will. So it'd probably still be a pretty good battle, um, but it's going to be an easy auto-resolve. 
So uh, let me know your guys' comments, but we may just auto resolve it depending on uh, well, what you guys say. We'll go ahead and in circle. And uh, that's where we're going to leave it off, guys. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you guys for watching. More good stuff to come. Take care.